Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part three. And I'm going to do the flip through of the last three Traveler's Notebooks that I created by following along and watching Gail Agostinelli's multiple journal series. Again, I believe there was nine. She did nine videos in all. She went step by step through the whole process from start to finish. Uh, absolutely awesome little series. So glad that she did it and I'm so glad that I got to uh, watch it. You are a godsend, Gail. Again, I don't know if I said it once, but I'm going to say it again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm ever so grateful to you. I love watching you. I totally appreciate everything that you do. You are so talented and I look forward to watching many, many, many more videos of yours. So I thank you. You, you just, you have, I can't possibly tell you in words how thankful and appreciative I am of you. It was perfect timing, especially with what was going on in my life. Um, we're down to, we're at the countdown now. My daughter is going to have twins any day, but we're looking at in the next couple weeks, maybe a matter of days, um, but it's been crazy and I'm so grateful. So Merry Christmas to you and I hope you have a very merry and happy, safe new year. All right, last three journals. This one is Christmas themed, snow kisses with the snowman on it. It says warm wishes this Christmas season. collaged papers on the inside and back inside covers. Some yummy coffee stain paper with some lace fabric edge. A little stamp up here with stockings. Some colored cardstock. Naughty and nice list. Collage guest check. Again, I learned that from another video of Gail Agostinelli's. And I watched a few others too, but she was like the first one I watched. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. Oh, no, I can't get it out. It's a Wonderful Life here. And here's a little piece of ephemera. I love this angel. It's, you know, anything old, really. I, I love anything old. Hello, Winter. And I decided to do a little tuck spot underneath or below instead of on top. Some... Christmas fabric scrap that I had and I stamped happy holidays and I just tucked it right in there eat drink and be merry a tuck spot there and a tuck spot here and a popular game of tiddlywinks I actually remember that game okay so that kind of shows you or tells you how old I am anyways um, so a little piece of ephemera there Another tuck spot here. Yep, little tuck spot there uh, with a little stamped gingerbread person. Some more of my coffee, ah, coffee, uh, marble, marbled paper. I really like how this one came out. Little tuck here. Some more of that cardstock with a floral edge punch, distress oxide and water misted technique. Really, really shiny, uh, festive ribbon to make a side tuck here. Little tabs here to go in the center of my signature. The charm for this one is little silver mittens to go with the cute little mittens on the snowman on the front. And let me see here. Some Christmas sprinkles, because I love sprinkles on anything. Doesn't matter what color they are, but. And let me see here, we're gonna go some. Yeah, paper came from Paper Studio. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but it's a Paper Studio 
product. I bought two big, huge pads of Christmas themed paper from or card, cardstock from Hobby Lobby and Michael's. They were on sale, so I grabbed them because I really liked them a lot. Coffee stained muslin with some more decorative stitch. Christmas blessings. <clears throat> mm, a flip out envelope so you can put some more secret things inside. Vintage angel here looking out over the village. And I made, I decoupaged a napkin onto some cardstock. And journal on the back. Little snowman looking out at the North Star. A side tuck with some burlap. And it looks like somebody painted mm, mistletoe and holly on top of it. A belly band. Another journaling card. Another tuck here. Let it snow. I didn't put stuff in every single tuck, only because th these are pretty chunky as it is, and I wanted to leave some room for whoever the recipient was to be able to put whatever they wanted in there, too. Double flip corner tuck with some more journaling space. And a little stamped, a little stamp here with some presents and a tag. The journal on the back so there's that one and then this is one. this one is um, I don't know if I mentioned it uh, it's more a masculine feel to it I mean it can be given to a woman it can you know a woman can use it but it just gave me like a masculine feel to it uh, I, again I love Charles Dickens this is one of my favorite quotes have a heart that never hardens and a temper that never tires and a touch that never hurts the really nice Silhouette buck on the front with some pine cones. Merry Christmas. And ooh, here we go. A tag decoupage napkin on the front with some of that. Ooh, I don't even know. I, maybe it's like rub and buff. I don't know. I can't remember the name of it, but I have different colors and it's like a little wax and you just rub it on and it gives a really nice old look plaid on t plaid cardstock on top of a really nice vel red velvet ribbon to make a side tuck here celebrate coffee stained ledger a little tiny duck up in the corner or up at the top this picture I absolutely love it's a card from a collection that I purchased Tim Holtz I mean come on of course it's Tim Holtz because uh, you just can't go wrong with Tim Holtz he's awesome everything everything he does is awesome so this picture is really old but it came from a Tim Holtz collection on one side it on the other side it looks like a like deck of old playing cards except it's much bigger than a regular playing card and this is two gentlemen long long time ago holding a Christmas tree getting their picture taken Coffee stain graph, another collage guest check with a tag at the top, marbled paper, uh, another tuck. There's a tuck here. This is a piece of coffee stained paper that I printed it out on but it was an old a piece of a old almanac obviously 1733 but I just thought it was it looked it was fitting for this journal John Tottengill merchant tailor another half of a page of that St. Nicholas magazine some more of my little tea bags to go in the center of the signature I mean, that is just, the, these papers, these pages from that St. Nicholas magazine, they're old. I mean, and they're very fragile, so 
whoever receives these journals, you just got to be careful. I mean, I, I put some washi tape in where I could, but they're, it's original. They're original pages. Isn't that cool? Some more decorative stitch on muslin. A belly band, a plaid, cardstock. And then there's an old Christmas Victorian kind of setting. Old design, either old design shop. I think it's old design shop in this one, but stamp postcard on the back. And another double corner tuck up here. It flips up. Pretty more journaling space. A little happy snowman. A little baby fox at top. And the charm for this one is a little hobby horse. I think that's my favorite one. And at the back here, another tag that I made, decoupage napkin on top of embossed floral image. Again, that rub and buff or that wax, rub and wax. This one's copper on the edges. And the napkins of a beautiful silhouette buck deer with mistletoe and holly. I, I really love how this one came out. And I think that's it. Okay, last, the very last journal. Yay! I'm almost finished. It's been crazy. YouTube has not been cooperative with me. Uh, for the last couple of days. I think I have done this part one, two, and three probably six or seven times, so please bear with me. I'm, um, it's just, but I think this one's a winner. So this image came from Mrs. Coggs. Love that. It reminds me of like the days of like Charles Dickens in old England, and um, but I definitely love this image, so. And then on the front is some lace, coffee stained lace, some blue laced ribbon underneath, and this is some textiles that I got from a really big warehouse with discounted upholstery fabric and trims, and uh, and it's only like five minutes away from me, and it's just it's like you walk in, you're walking into fabric and upholstery heaven. That's, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Um, I learned this little trick. This is a, this is a slider, a slider belly band and it goes up and it goes down. That's a lovely little girl, lovely girl. I, I don't remember where this one came from. I'm not sure where this image came from. Not sure. But I, I learned this I learned this from watching a tutorial of Sew Carol or Crafty Emporium, but I learned this from her watching one of her videos. Uh, some more fabric lace trim on the edge. Little children's silhouette carolers for a tuck pocket and another tab bookmark. Did I forget something? No, that's just coffee stain paper. I'm going to just flip through this. Another one of those envelopes that I learned how to make from Kelly Snow. A little happy, happy Holidays tag. And this is one of those images I was talking about that I got from a kit or a... Mm, I know it came from Tsunami Rose and I purchased it off of Etsy last Christmas. And I decided to take some scraps and make little journals with Tsunami Rose images on the front. I mean, isn't that darling? Look at those two little girls. So, <clears throat> some marbled paper. Coffee stain ledger. A side tuck with some happy little snowmen with pink hats. Another one of those envelopes. Triple tucks. And I got this image from a woman 
that I did one of the scrap sampler swaps with when Nick the Booksmith put her vi that, that video out. Um, again, the center of the signature, I punched out these little circles with red snowflakes on them. Here is another image from Tsunami Rose. I just put diary on the bottom with some more scraps so you can write in that as well. Another one of those pages from the St. Nicholas magazine. The charm for this journal is church bells, hence they're going to church on the front of the image. This is another double corner flip up and this I embossed an Im image onto cardstock and then I decoupage this wonderful vintage Christmas napkin onto this tag. Love, love, love this one. A uh, digital stamp of an old carriage. Marbled paper. All you need is love, folks. All you need is love. And this image I got off of Pinterest, and it said, I think it said 1890. And this is of St. Nicholas Church in Ireland. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Another belly band, and again, another image on the front of these little notebooks from Tsunami Rose. A flip-off envelope. I think, I'm pretty sure this image came from Mrs. Coggs. And then there's a little piece of ephemera inside. Old Father Christmas. And flip this back. And a tag with some really glittery, festive ribbon. And there we have it. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time. I know it's a really busy time of the year. I mean, it's just crazy hectic for everyone at Christmas time, but I really appreciate any, <clears throat> excuse me, any and all of you who have taken the time to stop by and view even a portion of all three of these videos. Um, again, if you're interested in purchasing one or many of them, uh, please post a comment below. I will get back to you. I do watch, I do look at my messages and, and, and I check my emails and stuff. Um, several times over the period of the day uh, but and I will do my very best if you if you message me I'll get back to you with all the details and information and get these journals out to you in time for Christmas please be safe everyone I'm in North Carolina right now and we just got blanketed with a blizzard which is rare it hardly ever happens so but I lived in New England my whole life so uh, I'm used to it, but people here in the South are not. So it's, but uh, it's it's crazy busy all all around the world. Uh, thank you again. Be blessed, everyone. Bye for now.